In our earlier ver video, we showed you how to uh, create the letter X in rhinestones fairly quickly and easily. But what we didn't show you is how we would go about doing the outline of our letter X. And so what we're going to do here is we're just going to turn it over to a crystal color. We're going to grab our pen tool here in CorelDRAW, and all we need to do is simply come in here and by default it's going to snap to the center point of all these uh, rhinestone circles and on the outside we're just going to come around and we're going to create a path all the way around our letter X so we have the stones to snap to which really makes this process super super simple so all the way around so and back to the beginning okay so now we have a path going all the way around now what we don't know is exactly what that offset should be we're going to go over to our stone fill tab and by default we have our stone size it's basic already specified and so the amount of offset is already calculated for us which is kind of a nice feature now we can obviously override that um, but we're just gonna go to the outside by one so we'll just hit the island fill and that gives us an offset of just one and you can see that all the way around now the next thing that we need to do is uh, go ahead and add stones to uh, our outline and so we would just come in here and choose the uh, add stones function Oops, I guess I had more than one outline selected which is not what we wanted obviously we want just this outside one selected and we're going to add stones to it and we do want to choose the break path and what that does is it'll make sure that every stone is right at those corners so we'll go ahead and choose add stones again and that is how simply it is to add our perimeter now obviously we don't need um, that path anymore so we can just get rid of that and we can go ahead and right click and get rid of uh, in fact we'll just select this whole works here and get rid of the outlines on all those stones you can see we have a nice path and then what I like to do is I like to check this to see the situation where it's a little bit close there so we're just going to select choose break stones and this happens at, especially at points like this and so we can choose we can make a choice we could if we wanted to we could actually delete those stones and just bring that stone in uh, and that might be a better way to handle it it just kind of depends on on how you want to handle uh, those types of situations and modify that a little bit and you know maybe that looks better to you um, to handle it like that and then let's see if there's any others yeah there's one right here so in keeping with that same thing we'll go ahead and delete those two and bring this one down and then all we have to do is just kind of fudge these uh, few stones up here a little bit to take care of that little situation and you really never notice that it's really been modified uh, too significantly so we'll just maybe come in here a little bit and there we go so now the rest of the stones are spaced far enough apart where we have our outline all ready to go so that is how to go about adding an outline um, to your letters after you get the inside of the letters already filled in